Hello, everyone. I wanted to give you a little preview here to the videos coming up for the Arcom RC210 repeater controller. I bought mine in mid-2020, and so haven't even had it a full year yet, but it has been a really good addition to, uh, to the repeater. And uh, running a Yaesu DR1X, and so if you're using the DR1X with an external controller, you need, you need to pay special attention to some things. Um, and Arcom makes a nice little cable adapter with a, a board that does all the trickery for you to get it to continue to work in automatic mode select. So really this video is to just, uh, well, prove that I can capture this uh, screen so I can do future tutorials and uh, show you a little bit about the website here. Um, they are still offering for a limited time, a 25% discount uh, on the accessories when you buy the uh, repeater controller. So pretty nice, and uh, I, I did get that deal. And I bought one accessory later on that I did not get the, um, the discount on, well, because I waited. <clears throat> so here we go. You can uh, get the PC board and a rack mount with it an audio delay board, a real-time clock, an auto patch, and the software. So initially, of course, I bought the software and the real-time clock. It's got the battery backup, just makes things so much easier and gives you a few extra little, um, little features there. I did not buy the audio delay board, and I'll get into that later, but it is uh, one of the best additions, so it gets rid of that um, tail squelch um, crash the little noise that you hear when people unkey. So, also bought the interface for the DR1X slash DR2X, depending on the repeater um, that you get or that you have, 1X or 2X. Um, there's a slight different difference in the design. So here you go. Um, this fully assembled model is the one I bought. You've got the uh, tone encode decode board and their CPU, a few electric uh, electrical uh, components there. So you can buy the fully assembled or just the chip uh, CPU or the CPU with uh, a little bit of assembly there. Uh, so so they sell it in the different different stages of assembly. Of course, if you love it, you can do it yourself, put it all together. Um, but they sell it in different price ranges depending on what you want to do. So very, very nice. Uh, let's go to the store just so you can see. Yep, when you purchase the board itself, you just uh, you just get the board. Rack mount is another accessory I, I did buy at the initial time. So that was good. Got to gotta have it in something. And let me show you the uh, radio audio delay board. This, uh, because it's a three-port controller, you can get the radio audio delay board with uh, for just one port, uh, or you can get it for two ports here, or three ports. So depending on what you want to do, how many repeaters you have connected, and um, there you go. So we have had a really good time using this, setting it up. I'm going to uh, show you the software that uh, RCP software and actually take you through uh, how to set some things up. I've seen a lot of stuff on YouTube for the RC210 of people keying up the repeater and getting audio back from it, but no one showing you what's going on in the software, how to set it up, how to work around uh, questions and concerns. So, yeah, this is just a test video to get this uh, proved that I can uh, put something like this on the screen for you and go from there. So thank you for watching.